Hi, I'm Meg Tapp with the Garden Club of Houston under the umbrella of Garden Club of America and I'm going to talk to you today about vermiculture. It's really composting with worms. So there's two types of composting. One's heat and one's worms. So you can't do both because if you have, the, if you try to manage it for heat then that will kill your worms. So one or the other. So I'm a worm mom. I have the wormery and um, you can start this any time of year. So this is in, we're in winter right now and I'm just starting this one and we'll harvest it in the spring. We'll harvest our compost in the spring. So what worm, it's worm castings is really worm poop, but worm castings is also called black gold and it is so great for your garden. So you start off with just a couple of bags of compost, whatever you would like to buy, nice compost uh, from the hardware store. Probably not the big box store, but a nice compost from the hardware store. You get your worms. You can get them at um, Academy here. Um, you can get them from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. They can send them to you. But um, the best ones for composting are called red wigglers. So they're little bitty worms, and they can reproduce. They can their whole colony. So if you buy a thousand, you could have two thousand in three months. And they adapt to their house. So if you're in a tight space and you put them in there, then they manage their reproduction so that they don't overrun it. And if you have them plenty of space for them to roam, they will fill it up. So when you are doing, if you, you may have heard about the uh, brown to green ratio with composting, and that's really for the heat method. You have to keep it balanced so that you'll generate enough heat and that uh, your food particles and your food things that you put in your compost will break down. The worms do that work for you, but you do need brown in there, but the brown is for their bedding. Who knew? They need a little place, um, a little sheltered place. So for bedding, the brown, you can use leaves when you have leaves, but in the summer we don't really have leaves. So you can take cardboard boxes that you have and just cut them up like this. And you can also take um, toilet paper rolls or uh, paper towel rolls. So that's their bedding. Um, and when you feed them, you can do seriously, rig this, this counts as brown also, the paper from your coffee. So literally, that is how easy it is to feed your worms. Um, I have a little, I have this little thing on my kitchen counter, and so it's, uh, you just put a bag from the grocery store, and you just throw everything in here that's your, next to your kitchen sink. So when it's time to feed them, I'm going to uh, you generally want to um, put it, to bury it. You don't have to bury it to the very bottom. So I'm going to feed my worms. So I'm going to make a little hole. And actually, can you see in here all these little worms? That is them snacking. Oh, wow. So they're not real thrilled <laughs> when the sun hits them. I mean, but so all you do to feed them is you take this from your kitchen and feed them. It's that simple. People, and if you'll see, there's eggshells, there's banana, there's salad stuff, there's um, clippings from my garden when I was cutting off leaves, and then you just cover them up. And there you go. That is how easy it is. So in the winter, everything kind of slows down, so you don't have to feed them as much. If you have too much uh, kitchen scraps in your little um, thing, since you put it in a grocery store bag, all you have to do is tie it up and throw it in the freezer. And you just have bags of stuff to feed them. And especially in the summer when it gets hot, 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 they actually like to have that big block of cold, icy stuff to cool them down. But um, one of the main things also is you want to keep it moist in here because think of them, you know, they do like to live under the earth. Um, so this is obviously elevated earth, so you want to make sure that you water them. Uh, the rain usually does it, but if you need to water them, water them. Not everyone is going to go to this trouble to have this whole thing outside. You can actually do this in a Tupperware, uh, not quite Tupperware, whatever those big storage bins are. You just, that would be your wormery, and that's where they will live their whole lives. Um, and like I said, they adapt to their surroundings. So with um, that, you would just drill a couple of holes in the side so they would have air because you want to put the lid on it um, so to help, so, they did, so it doesn't get rained on all the time because then they could drown because the, this, this is more forgiving because it's outside. Um, and it can seep out the side, but you can do it in a bin. Now this, if you wanted to make it, this would be treated lumber, but you don't want your worms, the worms aren't going to like treated lumber, so that's where we put this uh, sheet metal. 
lining, I guess you call it. And this, the bottom of it is, you don't have to have a bottom. It can just be the earth, but I don't want to lose my worms. So this actually is a lightweight pad that your air conditioning sits on. And they, those are from Home Depot where you can get them anywhere. And they're, they're lightweight. I don't even know what they're made of, but um, that's my base. Okay, it's spring and we're back. So um, now it's time that we can harvest some uh, worm castings for our garden. So I'm gonna dig in here and just turn it over. And you can see that it's all um, much darker and there's lots of little worms in there. But so how do you do it? You take your little basket and then you just put this in here. And this is, you're gonna get big chunks and worms and everything in here all at once. So that's okay. So if you have, if your garden is, um, if you've got a bunch of space, you can just shake it right in your garden. But if you want to do it in a bucket, you just shake. And I'm sure the worms don't like this, but so we shake. And then and they're light and they're fluffy. Um, got some worm castings in here and I'm just going to show you really quickly. Remember I had said that if uh, you had too much food scraps in your house, plant scraps, you could um, put it in the freezer. So in order to feed them, dig a hole. And then here is a bag of frozen scraps. So it's just, you'll see what it is. Put it in just like that. stuff over it, little of them over it. And... Alright, so now we've got our worm castings in. It's as simple as this. And it's so pretty. But anyway, and it's, it's, if they get on the leaves, it's fine. And you don't, um, you can work it in. You can put, you know, uh, shovel it in and work it into the soil or you can just put it on top. It doesn't matter, but everyone will be happy with this. And that is it.